12 new features coming to the MCC in 2021. Things like mod support, new seasonal content, console FOV slider, and possibly the custom game browser. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. With Halo 4 completing the Master Chief Collection on PC, many I'm sure are wondering, well, what's gonna happen to the MCC now? Are they even gonna support it? Or is there anything else gonna happen to it after the release of this game? Well, yeah, there's a lot of stuff gonna be happening with the MCC afterwards. I did make a video on it right here talking about that in general, but I did touch on this one part specifically of new features coming into the MCC. But in this video, I wanted to take a deep dive into those 12 features coming in the game. You know, I read it in the comments section about the console of a V slider, custom game browser, and so many other questions, guys. So hopefully this video will help answer a lot of those questions and kind of get a better understanding of what can we expect for next year for the MCC. But let's get right into it. First off, it's the view model adjustment for all games. If you don't know what the view model adjustment is, here's a nice little picture comparing the two. You can see the original image where they're using standard crosshairs and like the weapons kind of covering up a lot of the screen. The idea of adjustable view models is that you can adjust it to a position like you can right here in the lower part of the screen so it's less obstructive and tailored to the experience how you would like. Now 343 has been working on this feature for, well, at this point, pretty much a year. They have said that this has proven to be much more difficult of a feature to add into the MCC than they originally anticipated. And judging how we're still waiting until 2021 to get this feature, it seems to be quite tricky, but they do mention in the most recent blog post that they do plan to flight this in early 2021. My assumption being either January, February, or March, kind of being the early part of the year. But again, that kind of comes down to exactly when it's ready, when it's ready, kind of mantra they've said for this game previously. Number two feature is Steam account linking. And they said this will be released out next year. They did say that this feature is complete and it is in the game right now it just needs to be switched on but what they want to do is flight this before they actually turn it on uh, my guess is that steam account linking might be joining in with that custom game browser like that's try hopefully to try to get in before the end of 2020. it's just a great feature for all you steam people so then you don't have to re-add all your friends on steam onto the mcc it just links it up together and it just works Hopefully that's what will happen, but we'll see what happens when they actually flight the process. EC file share is the next one here, and they said they plan to do an early flight in 2021. This kind of seems to kind of come along with the line that all these other kind of features that we're really mentioning that they're gonna be in early 2021, but they have other features like mod support and other things coming in later. EC file share is just a great way for people to share the content within the community and you know really give a sense of, well, community really, because Seeing people, you know, share their screenshots and get, you know, shared around the community, this kind of gives you a sense that, like, you know, this game is alive. There's other people out there besides yourself and these bots that you basically play online, you know. Now, this was brought in with Halo 4's update, but they do plan to expand on it, so I'm adding this feature in, and that is additional video setting options. Currently, right now, you can actually can go into the game and fix things up. Actually, I want to show you guys a quick little example of what we're actually talking about here. So this is me, like, in the video settings right now for the MCC. Right now I have Halo 3 selected right here. If you scroll down, you can see that like you have, you have these different options like anti-aliasing, details, lighting, shadowing, anti-stropic lighting, filtering, if that's kind of a thing you want to mess with. And so, but not every game has the same kind of features. But if you switch over to like Halo 2, you scroll down, you can see you change like anti-aliasing, blood, detail quality, effect quality, post-processing quality, shadow quality, uh, antistropic filtering and texture resolution as well. Not all MCC games are treated equal right now when it comes to additional graphical options on PC. So they're looking to expand on this within 2021. So games like Halo 3 can get the addition to have different blood effects or texture resolutions and things like that. It's a great way to help fine tune your experience on PC because there's so many different kinds of builds and not everyone can run the same settings as someone else. And so it's great to have these options for more players. Next on the list here, I know we're probably gonna get a flight of it in 2020, but most likely it will not come out until early 2021. That is the custom game browser. Now I did make a video and we've been talking about it saying they will get a chance to flight this before the end of the year 
which is great, but though I would not expect a whole lot of work to be done on the MCC post December 17th, as that's the year end blog update will happen on that date, which we're hoping for the high end update for Halo Infinite as well. But the general process of flighting is that we'll get like a week or two of testing out on the flight and then two or three weeks after that flight, it actually gets released. So if they get a chance to flight this before the end of the year, hoping like a week or two of flighting for the custom game browser, which will put us right up against that like December 2017 deadline, meaning probably no work really being done until the beginning of next year to bring it to the retail version. So most likely the custom game browser will come to a full retail version in early 2021. My guess probably January. And it's kind of self-explanatory. You get a chance to just search custom games and join as you would like, much like in Halo 5. I just really hope the functionality is better. We will get invited to the flight, guys. I will definitely be making a ton of content on the custom game browser as soon as we have a chance. Double keybinds is another feature coming in early flights of 2021. You can kind of see a common repetition of early flights of 2021. Double keybinds are going to be great. You know, I do have to kind of like pick and choose which keys I want to select. And so it's gonna be able to nice uh, just have double keybinds. And so it's just simplifies the experience a little bit. Another feature looking to be flighted in early 2021, that is per game audio options. Not every game has the exact same kind of level of volume. They have improved on that over the years. Uh, though, you know, it'd just be nice to have, give players the options to kind of pick and choose what you would like. You really have the master volume for all games, but you can probably just break that down to a per game level. It just takes some time and effort. Here's a big thing I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering. Seasonal content after the release of Halo 4. What's going to happen? Well, it's going to happen. It's actually been saying that Season 5 will most likely come around in January of 2021. So we have that to look forward to, but then also like Season 6. They even mentioned right here that the team is working full steam ahead on Season 5 and 6. Also remember that Season 5 will feature brand new armor sets for Halo Reach and hopefully crossing my fingers on that gold battle rifle that was leaked out previously and also the Arctic skin that was made for the Hornet in Halo 3, but sadly was not in Season 4, so hopefully that gets added in, in Season 5, and just additional content coming in maybe in Season 6, maybe some Halo 2 customization, H2A customization? I, would, I could totally see that happening in 2021. Now this is probably the feature I see so often in my comments section of my videos, and that is the console FOV slider and other various features coming to the console from PC. In the Halo 4 flight, you know, Xbox One family console members got a chance to test out the FOV slider. Most people said they had an easy time with it, but they actually had to take it away due to technical difficulties. And they do say that they once they improve the performance issues, they can definitely will see this coming in 2021. They don't provide any time, general time frame of early, mid, or late. They just say it's happening in 2021. Now features 10, 11, and 12 that I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna throw these kind of all together because this is an in-design iteration part of the phase of development, meaning that they're currently working working on exactly how to write out the blueprint of how they're going to implement these features into the MCC, one being additional mod support. Now they've never said mod tools, and so I would not maybe expect to see mod tools come in, but give modders more ability to create more content with the game, because mods are going to be what keeps the MCC alive you know, years after the release of Halo Infinite. It's going to keep it alive through 2021, 2022, even 2023 possibly. You know, people are still making modded content on custom edition for Combat Evolved, so why not for M MCC? 11 being additional accessibility support, obviously just making it, your game more available for more people, that's fantastic. And this has also recently just been added in the most recent blog update, HDR support for PC. If you guys don't know what HDR is, well, come, come, come with me on this next scene here. Okay, here we go. So, this is what HDR settings are basically are. Now, if you're playing on an Xbox, one X, then well, you have a chance to actually play around with this, but I've never had a chance to mess with it because I either have an Xbox One or PC. And so what the HDR settings will allow you to do is just to tone the brightness and contrast of certain things in the game a little bit better to kind of be more suited to your experience. Being able to customize things like shadows, paper white being like what how white white is when it comes to the game. Does it have a slight yellow hue? Is it just pure white? and also other highlights of how bright things are. This gives you much more customization than just like a contrast bar, just going you know, up or down, 
you know, a few points here or there. This really helps you tailor their experience to your television or monitor to give you the proper Halo experience. And with that, those are all the new features coming to the MCC in 2021. And if there's enough fan feedback or more people requesting features, the more things will come along as well throughout the year. And if they do, I guarantee you I'll be making a video about it on this channel, guys. So make sure you subscribe and keep yourself up to date. If you've been on the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right over here. i link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been on the loop, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.